In this lesson, I will show you how to create fillet inside the sketch. I will go to edit sketch. Now I will activate that fillet from this sketch tab from here. Or if I press S key in my keyboard, I can activate from here also. First, I have to select any entity to fillet. I can select any vertex or any two line. If I hover on this point, it will show me this is the preview. So I will select this point and this is the preview after i make the fillet this will be added then if i want to add fillet in multi corner in that case i can also add this corner but this time i will not select this vertex i will select this two line and it will create fillet for me then i can adjust size i will put five then i will press ok and these are the fillet now you are controlling fillet by using one radius and this is adding one equal radius. This is case fillet tool is still active. If I want I can add more fillet. Let's say if I want to add fillet on this corner. I can do that also. When I'm done I can press close or OK. I will press Ctrl Z to go back. I will do fillet again. Now I will create fillet on these two corner, but I will check this box dimension each fillet. Then press OK. Now you can see this added two dimension for each fillet. So if you want to add multi dimension, you can also do that. I will press Ctrl Z to go back again. I will active my fillet again. This time I want to fillet on this corner. So if I select this point, this will fill it like this. I don't want to fit it like this. I want to fill it between these two lines. So in this case, I must have to select these two lines to fill it. In. Now I will uncheck this. I don't need this. There is one option, keep constant corner. I will uncheck this first, then press OK. Let's see what happened. You can see this will put one radius and this is that fillet, but this line is underdefined now, which really I don't want. So I will go back again. I will select these two lines, but this time I will select keep constant corner. Then press OK. And this is the beauty. This line is still completely fully defined by using this intersection geometric relation.